Hey guys, it's Flip Cards here, Lavender Direct from Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm going to open up 23 packs of the 2018-19 OPG Hobby. So yesterday I was in Lower Manhattan, popped into a store which had a box of opened uh, OPG on the counter, picked five random packs, and in these packs, one per pack, I got five uh, border, black border cards, which are numbered cards. So this is unusual because you're only supposed to get two in a hobby box and I got one per pack. So I was kind of speculating online yesterday with a couple of people that it might in fact have been a hot box of black borders, which is weird. Uh, I also got this bad boy here, which looks like a normal mini until you turn around and it's a variation back, number to 27, which makes it a $30 card. So I had some good mojo yesterday. So I popped back into the store uh, to see if I could get the rest of those packs from that box and in fact was able to get 23 packs. Now 23 packs plus the 5 packs prior is 28 packs which is more than the 24 typically in a box so obviously there were some holdover packs from the prior box but I was speculating, I'm still speculating that there might be a lot of black borders in here potentially. So what do you get from OPG in 2018-19? You get manufactured patches if you're very lucky because those are the rare inserts there aren't any more case autos or memorabilia autos like there were in the in the past. Uh, nonetheless, you should get one gold glossy per box, theoretically, of 24 packs as opposed to 23. You should get eight silver border parallels, two retro black border parallels as opposed to one per pack, six mini inserts, five OPG playing cards, and 48 high series cards, which include the marquee rookies, like your middle stats and your fosters uh, and your donatos, season highlights, league leaders, uh, etc. And you should get retros, right? So let's, let's see if we can rip these open and see whether or not I will get black borders. So right away we see another black border. So this has to be a hot, uh, a hot pack or hot box of black borders. So there's Keith Kincaid. And of course I'd be looking for Foster. And there's Edge Cell, who's actually a decent rookie, uh, even though I believe he was chosen late in the proceedings. Uh, there's Jake Allen. Uh, which is a silver border, which are a little bit sort of boring, but anyways. And there's Alex Kerfoot, uh, and that would be a black border. And there we have a Jonathan Taves uh, plain retro. And then these two, Hartman and uh, OEL, would be base. So let's see if we're able to continue getting those black borders. Very fascinating if we do. I've never had a hot box like that. There's Roman Yossi, and again we see that we have blacks. Hetherington rookie card, a defenseman. We have this Connor Sheary retro, as well as a Neil Pionk. Uh, he's actually uh, done really well in his first few games with the Rangers. Uh, pretty happy about that. He's actually a decent rookie, and it happens to be a silver border rookie. And here we have a black border marquee rookie of Donato. We got the Ryan Donato and it's a black border, so it would be numbered. So here we go again. Every pack has a black border and there are black border rookies. So this is really fascinating and lucky for us, um, we hit the Ryan Donato. So of course we would like to hit the Foster as well, but we shall see shells by the seashore. Casa, Bajou, who's had some luck in the playoffs at times, and here another black border. So every single pack we're getting a black border per our specification. That would have been Voracek, and this is Milan Lucic, uh, the beast himself. And here we have a Toivin in Marky Rookie Retro non-black border. Uh, nonetheless, nonetheless, really, really cool. Toivin in is probably one of the best of the rookie class. I believe he's chosen about 30th overall. And this is a normal back, uh, I think, base mini card. There we have Jacob Markstrom and Scandella. This feels a bit thicker for whatever reason. Now, there would be some packs from the, from the other box, so those might be the ones that are not black, no, mindful of the fact that I got uh, only blacks yesterday. England, we did have decently. There's Josh Anderson. Oh, cool. We have a Nicolas Delaurier. I think he sort of got a little bit bruised up in his uh, 
in his preseason game the other day, but he's he's actually a money player. He's a fourth liner who actually puts up points and goes on runs, which is interesting. And then we have a Matthias Ekholm, a solid defenseman, very solid defenseman, worthy of being picked on your pool, uh, on your hockey pool. And then we have a Jason Demers. We do have a playing card here, and it's a queen, I believe. So let's let's put that at the back of this particular pack. Uh, Jason Demers, Yanni Gord, who's another fantastic player. He sort of broke out. He's a 26-year-old who broke out late, late in his career, relatively speaking, and put up loads of points last year. Henrik Lundqvist, and who is it? Oh, nice. It's a Matt Murray. Very cool. You know, this is my first diamond. I have so far gotten six of the playing cards, and all of them were spades. And here we go again. We have another black border. Unbelievable. Totally a hot box in the hockey card sense, not the other sense. And we have a marquee rookie of Terrell Goldborn, who I believe was the third rounder, unless I'm mistaken. Then we have Leon Dreisaitl. Leon, a very capable, able, uh, high draft pick. What was he, fourth or fifth overall or something? Center. And then we have Tyler Pitlick, which is a silver border, and then we have an Anze Kopitar. So that again was a black border. Every pack of black border. Um, I like the black borders particularly because we could potentially theoretically get uh, a black border retro rookie card of someone decent, which we have thus far. We have another one of the Leafs checklists. I've gotten this checklist before. As you can see, has Tom, Thomas Blacanitz on it, although he was only with the Leafs for about four and a half minutes. And a cup, some, some decent uh, playoff play. Victor Arvidsson would be our black border. There we have Max Domi now with your Montreal Canadiens. Oh, we have a playing card behind it. And our playing card would be of James Neal. James Neal. I believe his rookie year was 2008-2009. Hmm, interesting. Continuing on. Curious whether we have another black border card. As I said, some of these packs have to be from that other box, mathematically, so they would be the ones without the black border, and it might be this might be this pack, actually. We do have a rookie card here, and it's of Zach Whitecloud. Okay. Zach Whitecloud. Did play one game with the with the Knights last year. From Brandon Manitoba and then we have a Mark Shifley who was a monster in the playoffs and then we have another one of these um, beautiful playing cards and it's Patrick Laine that's really sick I, I like the look of these they kind of look like tarot cards they really have a sort of more sort of an intricate dynamic look as opposed to prior years so the hit of the box probably was, I'm guessing, the carry price that I picked yesterday. So the, that, by the way, was the first pack I picked that did not have a black border. And again, I believe it's because it was from holdover cards from a prior box. And we have another one, another one of these black borders, and it's Anders Bjork. And as you can tell, this would be a second year card. Again, these are all numbered. That would be Noah Hannafin. Oh, cool. So we have a marquee rookie retro, and this one would be a Philip Holm from the rookie department. And then we have this Henrik Sedin, sort of, I guess, holdover from last year, Thomas Hickey. Okay. My arms are getting tired. Whatever reason. Another black border. It's, it is absolutely a hot box. There's Brock Besser. Let's see what kind of year he has this year. He has to stay healthy, of course. I had him in my pool. He was fantastic. Okay, here's Louis uh, Del Pedio. Nothing too. And there's Zidane Shara. Okay, we definitely have... Oh, cool. We definitely have something here. So let's see what it is. Ryan Spooner. Ryan Gibbons. Zidane Shara would be the... Silver, and then we have a Riley Nash, and it is a rookie, Justin Hall, cool. So we got the Justin Hall black border rookie. That's the benefit of all of these black borders is we're gonna get black border rookies, which are rarer cards, which is nice. Oops, 
camera wants to wants to flitter away. Don't flitter away, camera. There we go. Okay, continuing on. Now that I have the camera slightly secured, we have Carl Soderberg, we have Chris Letang, and we have David Dernay, who was an undrafted a player who one day got himself 60 points at 61 points I believe one year uh, 60 points even there which is pretty good for an undrafted player he's actually a decent center uh, in his prime years and then we have a team of Meyer which ha would happen to be the single gold glossy which we would expect within the batch continuing on 24 packs so many goodies uh, I'm gathering because it's a black hot box. I will not get, and, and also there might be a couple of packs missing from the from the major box, uh, because potentially someone else bought some cards from this box. Nate Schmidt, Chris Russell. We have another rookie, and the rookie would be a Mor Morgan Klimchuk. Okay, Morgan Klimchuk. Here's Brian Little, and here is Brian Boyle. And here we have a checklist black border of the LA Kings. So that's pretty nice. So this is by definition a high numbered uh, black border retro card as opposed to a base one. The base cards usually run in these sets run from one through 500. Usually the next 100 are the high numbered cards with all the goodies. Here we have the base checklist. And that one would be of our ducks, as well as a Ryan Miller black border. Hoping for some more black border rookies. And this is a team checklist of your Ottawa Senators. Uh, see, you see Thomas Shabbat there, who is should have an amazing career theoretically. You also have Eric Carlson at the top, who was sold for a few pieces for no apparent reason. There's Gabriel Landis Gog, and that would be a base mini, I believe, which I'm wrecking slightly. Bo Horvat and, and Tara Vinen. Okay, continuing on. Another black border. This is just this is just crazy. What a crazy box. So we have a Pavel Gushnevich who's shown all kinds of flashes here and there, as well as a Gudobin, who himself has actually sort of done half decently. And we got the Noah Juleson, cool. We got the retro Noah, Noah Juleson. As a Habs fan, it's probably, I think it's the only rookie I could potentially hit. Uh, he has to get going given how weak the Habs are on D. Uh, but that's, that's awesome. Noah Juleson, very cool. That makes me happy. Of all the, uh, Retros, but that's not a black border retro. That's just a generic retro, I guess Retro rookie if there is such a thing, but I have gotten so I did get the hall which is a leaf and I did get the Habs one as well and here is just a team checklist of you Now you can add Carlson to the mix here But you can see Lassick Arendell who is a very able backup goaltender. He's actually pretty decent if you need a goalie for it for a day for your pool and that would have been Matthew Kachuk as well as Dustin Bufflin numbered why is this I'm just trying to sort through my cards this was supposed to be there and here we have another playing card and this one would be a Panarin cool Getting some pretty decent playing cards, actually. So I believe the hit of the box probably was the carry price from yesterday, uh, beyond all the black borders. And this is would be a highlights card, so this is a high numbered card of Luongo in his 1,000th game in the NHL, which is. I think Markov, Andre Markov's on the on the Habs is probably about five or six games short of the thousand mark. Unfortunately, love to see him play a thousand games with the Habs. 
before he went out to the KHL. So this would be Sven Andre Ghetto, also a hat by the way, initially. And then we have the Florida checklist, as well as Ricard Raquel. He is low on the uh, checklist, but he is a very solid center. Wow, no black card. So this is probably from the other box I'm gathering. We've got Soderberg. We have a Vancouver checklist. And you can see Michael Delzato is now with your Vancouver Canucks. He's, I think he's wearing the A at this point. Very nice. This one here is of Thomas Hurdle. And then we have a silver bordered checklist running from 200. So again, that probably was from the other, from the other pack. Here we have a Tim Schauer, as well as a Jimmy VC mm, numbered card. And from San Jose Sharks, we have a Marty Jones, which is a base. I'm getting these mixed up. And then we have this Nuge, a Nuge Mini. Nuge, also low numbered, so in other words, it is not a short print. The short prints probably are above 50 or so. I think there are three ter uh, tiers of short prints with regard to scarcity and rarity. So actually it makes sense. So the ones at the bottom of this box would be the ones that are not, um, that don't have the black bordered card. So it would be those few packs. We did get a Victor Hedman, Silver, this Corey Schneider. Still wondering. Still another black border. This is black border heaven here. Ryan Strom. Uh, we did get a Dylan Sakura, who was a late draft, but a but a good draft actually. Wasn't he the one who was sixth round? Marion Gabrick. And then we have a Pittsburgh Penguins checklist. And you see here we have Sid the Kid as well as all your known quantities. Connor Sherry. Limata. And then we have a Kyle Palmieri. Now we only have four packs here. Let's see whether they remain black orders. I think they probably shall and will. Another one. This is hilarious. Oh, look at this Carey Price. Carey Price at the bench. That's cool. It's a season highlights Carey Price. I'm not sure he had any highlights last year, to be honest with you. But Price sets new Habs record for games played by goaltender. Well, that would be the only one he could have potentially beaten last year, given the team was in such disrepair. We have Aaron Della, who, as I said, is a great backup goalie, or has been thus far. Con Connor Hellebuck. All-Star, Matty Murray, Adam Larson, and Dan Hanzus. I'm going to do this one later. Let's have a feeling about that one because you get a feeling. We have Brandon Mortor, who's also a very good defenseman. Kevin Fiala, who's coming into his own finally. Marcus Peterson, and this is one of the packs without a black border, strangely. And we had Faxa, as well as Galley. That's a nice one, Galley. This actually totally is a close-up of his normal photo. Boom. Two packs left. Let's do it. Let's do another black border. Craziness. Matthew Perot. I think this, I'm just trying to put this hello book back in the right pile. So we did get a Brandon Montour, who I really love, and a William Nylander Retro, who I also love, and a Tyson Jost, Black Border. And then we have a, this would be a Patrice Bergeron, Heart. Is it because he has heart? 
Kucherov. So last pack, guys, in the Black Border Hot Box. Last pack, and of course we get one more Black Border. Uh, there's Connor McD. Let's see what kind of year he has this year. Jake Gardner. We have another checklist, it would be of the Blue Jackets. And then we have this Ron Hainsey Black Border card, as well as James Van Riensdyk. So I think where we sort of did the worst was maybe rookie cards, actually, because of all of those Black Border cards. We had fewer rookies, I think. Um, interesting, though. This is a really interesting break. So as I said, in terms of what we're supposed to theoretically get, we should get one gold glossy. So let's do a recap here of these of this particular break of 23 packs, as I said. Um, okay. So I speculated that it might be a hot box of black borders. Uh, theoretically, in a box, we're supposed to get one gold glossy. We're supposed to get eight silver border parallels, two retro black borders, two retro black borders, six mini inserts, five OPG playing cards, and 48 of the high series cards. Uh, so in this box, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the silvers, one of which was a rookie, Neil Pionk, who's actually uh, shown some real good flashes thus far. I would follow him this year. Uh, what else did I get? We're supposed to get one of the gold glossies, as I mentioned, and sure enough, I got the Timo Meyer. Uh, in terms of retros, just generic retros, um, I'm not, I think there's supposed to be more than one per pack. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So I did in fact get more than one per pack of the retros, building out the retro uh, parallel set. Uh, in terms of mm, playing cards, we're supposed to get five playing cards. And out of the 23, as opposed to 24 packs, I got five playing cards. I got Patrick Bergeron. I got uh, Panarin. I got Patrick Line, which is really a hot one. I got James Neal. And I got Matt Murray. So those are two queens, which is really nice. I mean, they're at the same frequency as the others, but they're the sort of higher end uh, caliber players, more or less. They're all high end caliber players. So that was the same bang for buck as anticipated. With regard to minis, we're supposed to get six. And I, in fact, got six. Again, six for, per 24. And I got the Henrik, the Matt Kachuk, the Brendan Galley Gallagher, I got the Nuge, I have the Ricard Raquel, as well as the Gabriel Landeskog. All right, what else? Uh, in terms of our season highlights, so we're supposed to get 48 high series and retro cards total. Uh, I'm not sure exactly um, the frequency of, of the checklists or the, the proportion of these ones, but in terms of checklists, I got one, two, three, four, five checklists. I also got two of the season highlight cards, including my man, Carey Price, who, uh, as a Habs fan, I always like to see, as he uh, uh, beat the record against for most games played. With regard to rookie cards, here they are. I didn't get the Foster, but I got the Peterson, the Goldborn, Dylan Hetherington, Victor Edgesell. I've gotten a lot of these before. Morgan Klimchuk. I got the Louis Del Pedio the Zach White Cloud, as well as the Dylan Sakura, who's been playing, I believe, above his head uh, thus far in his career, given his draft spot, which I thought was a little bit later. Um, and then finally, with regard to black border cards, we're supposed to get, um, we're supposed to get two total. Well, this is what I got. This is just crazy. Oh, wait, did I do the, uh, Oh, I didn't do the Marquee Rookie Retros, so I'll do the Marquee Rookie Retros first. Uh, the, here I actually delivered well with the with the rookies. The Marquee Rookie Retros, uh, I got three of them, which I think is about par for the course. I got a Philip Holm. I got a Noah Juleson, so I got fun, so I got the Habs one, which is great. 
Uh, I got the Eli, Eli Tolvin in, who is also a great one. Uh, I had him before, but he's one of the best ones of the rookie class, uh, as, long, as well as the Anderson, the guy who threw the medal into the crowd. He's another one you'd be looking for. Then in terms of black border cards, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So I got nineteen and twenty-three packs, and you add the nineteen to the five yesterday, and that would make twenty-four. So from the box, I, I def it definitely was one per pack. Uh, one, yeah, one per pack, which is unusual. And in terms of these, I hit two of the marquee black border rookies, really good ones. I heard, hit Justin Hall, who from your Toronto Maple Leafs, who you'll be watching. And I did get the Ryan Donato black border rookie, which is an awesome one to get. Uh, probably one of the better ones to get. So that's it, guys. Uh, 23 random packs, uh, 19. So basically, what I'm saying is I got 23 yesterday. I got five. I got, I've got another five yesterday, so I got 28 total packs. Of the 28 packs, 24 of them were black border cards. All of them numbered to 100. It was absolutely a box, a hot box of black borders. So I happen to be Fulton Cards live and direct from a place called Brooklyn, New York.